Welcome to the Midlife Style School, the podcast for women who want to elevate their personal style and life by design. I'm your hostess, Afton Porter, certified life coach and fashion stylist, known as the Chief Image Creator, helping high profile women polish their image with standout style in their industry. Through our conversations and insight, I'll provide simple tricks and practices that will help take the stress out of getting dressed in the morning so you can start each day feeling empowered, confident, and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Let's go. Hey, hey. Okay. I hear that you're having trouble breaking away from your skinny jeans. They have been long gone for a while, but yet you keep going back to those trusty pairs of pants. Today, we're going to go through how to find the right wide leg pair, but also how to style them. There was a time when you felt more comfortable in a wide leg pant. I want you to think back to that time period. Yes, it was a pretty low rise. So it may not have been a great idea to bend over. They weren't very practical that way. I don't know why we put up with that. Why did we why did we put up with that 20 years ago? You loved your wide leg pant. They're very flattering on you. It just takes her I sometimes, if you're not used to change, if you don't like change and you like to keep things as they are, it gets harder as we age for that change. And we like to hold on to things that we are familiar with and comfortable with, even if they're not the best thing for us. With our pants, I promise you that skinny jeans are not the most flattering pants you can wear. You're just used to seeing them being worn by everybody else, and you're used to yourself wearing them for the past several, many, many years. And they came at a time when we were so thankful that we could wear pants without having any problems bending over. Well, that is not the case right now. The wide leg pants are not the same from 20 plus years ago. Okay. They are a mid-rise Sometimes you can find a high rise that's kind of starting to trend out, but if you have a high rise pant and that is great for your body shape, hold on to them. Don't ever get rid of these pants, you guys. And I also mean that with your skinny jeans. If you have some skinny jeans that you love that fit you well, hold on to them. Don't throw them out and you can wear them every once in a while, okay? I just don't want you to hold on to those like a safety blanket. And the reason why is because they are not the most flattering pants for you to wear. 100%. If they were, I wouldn't be doing this podcast. You have to trust me on this as your style coach. Skinny jeans are not the most flattering pants for you. A wide leg pant is. How are you going to find the most flattering wide leg pant for you? And how are you going to style it? These are the two things we are going to cover today. The first thing you're going to do to determine how wide your wide leg pants can be, we're going to look at two things. Number one, you're going to take an honest, accurate look of yourself in the mirror no judgment. You're not going to look at your body and start picking it apart. Okay. That's not what this exercise is for. You're going to look at your body with an open eye to determine what is accurate for your body, but you're still going to love it. You're not going to say anything rude about yourself. If you catch yourself saying anything about your hips or your legs or your stomach, You're just going to say, oh yeah, Afton warned me I might do this. I'm only going to think loving thoughts about myself. Only loving thoughts. When you catch yourself 
saying things that you wouldn't repeat to your best friend or a daughter. You're looking in the mirror and you're looking at how wide your hips are compared to your shoulders. Are they about the same? Are your hips wider than your shoulders or your hips smaller than your shoulders? You don't have to measure them, guys. We're not going to say percentages or anything. Just get an idea. Are your hips wider, the same, or smaller than your shoulders? Your wide leg pant, you'll want that to stay no bigger than the widest area, whether it's your shoulders or it's your hips. And the reason why wide leg pants look more flattering than a skinny jean is because a skinny jean is going to go in at the bottom of your leg. So if you have hips, if you have curves at all, and you put a skinny jean on it, it's just going to narrow out that bottom. And when you add a wide leg opening, it's going to create balance from the top and the bottom. And anytime you create balance, your eyes love it. It's going to look more attractive, appealing, pleasant to look at. What your eye is noticing when you look at yourself or an outfit is what's actually out of balance. Your eye is going to what's out of balance and you're like, that doesn't look right. I'm not sure why I can't put my finger on it, but I don't love this look. Okay. Something's out of balance and there's several things it could be, but what the wide leg offers you is it's creating that balance with your hip and or your shoulders. And when you have shoulders and hips and your wide leg pant all lined up, it just is going to create a beautiful balance from the top to the bottom. Like an hourglass, you know how it's like wider at the top and then it comes down in in the middle and wider at the bottom. Okay. You don't have to have a small waist and curvy body to look balanced. You can create that with your clothes. And one way that you do that is by using a wide leg pant. So much more flattering, a skinny jean leg that goes in. Can you imagine that? What if the hourglass went from wider and then it goes in and then went in some more? So when it, the fact that it comes out, it's balanced on the top of the bottom and her eye really likes that. Okay. Now, you can find wide leg pants that are casual, that are denim. You can find them more in a palazzo type pant where it's wide and loose and flowy and a a fancy satin silk fabric. You can find wide leg pants in so many different types. So you've looked in the mirror, you've decided how wide you can go with your wide leg when you're looking at your hips and your waist and all that. Also consider your height, the taller you are, the more curvier you are, the wider your pants can be. The shorter you are, the less width you can get away with using. If you're taller, you're using more, you're taking up more space. The width of your wide leg pant is going to look a little different. So somebody who's tall and curvier can wear a wider leg pant than someone who's short and petite. So you definitely want to put scale into consideration. But if you keep that wide leg pant, how I described, then you should be okay. And I also want to tell you, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm going to be going live and answering questions every day in the month of November. In the show notes, it will have my Instagram handle. Be sure to hop over there, follow me, and I'll be happy to answer your style questions. And we need to handle, we need to answer some of these widely pants. And you can show me. The nice thing about Instagram is you can go live with me and then you can actually pull some things out of your closet. So keep that in mind. If you have any wide leg pant questions, be sure to bring those. I'm not going to go live at the same time the whole month. My schedule doesn't allow for that, but I will let you know in a story 
So check my stories. I will let you know what time I'm going to go live the next day. You're wearing an appropriate size wide leg. Now let's go up to your waist. The looser and more flowy your pants are, the more fitted top you need to be wearing with it. Have you heard me use the term frumpzilla? This is what I use when we're talking about looking super frumpy. We have a baggy and loose flowy top on with baggy and loose flowy bottoms on. And we think that we're hiding our body just wearing all of these loose clothes. But what's happening is we're just looking really frumpy. We we don't look like we have any style. What you want to do is... After you determined what size of wide leg pant you want, you took into consideration how tall you are, how curvy you are, the taller you are, and the more curves you have, the wider leg you can get away with. It's referring to wearing something to scale. If you are petite and you wear these large wide leg pants, then they're going to look to disproportionate. We here at Style Guide Society are creating a style that looks polished, professional, and cohesive from head to toe. I don't want people to see your pants. I want people to see you and hear what you have to say. I don't want them distracted by your clothes. I want your clothes to draw attention to you. I want you to stand out. I want your business to stand out in a good way with you as the shining star. So you are avoiding looking frumpy by wearing the right size of bell bottoms. There's different types of wide leg pants. You might be picturing jeans as I am explaining this to you, but there are suit pants that are more of a wide leg. There's palazzo pants, which can be a little bit more dressy depending on the fabric, but it's like a loose fit and flare style that begins from the waist. And those can look really adorable. I love them. You can find them in high waist or mid rise is the rise that I recommend. Avoid the low rise. We're done with that. We're just not going to do that to ourselves anymore. Right? So high rise or a mid rise. And depending on your rise, whether you have a long torso or a short torso, it's going to affect your rise. So a mid rise on me might look very different on you depending on a combination of things, but part of it is your height, your leg inseam, and your torso. So all of those will help you determine whether or not you could do a mid-rise. I have long legs, but a short torso. My rise is small and the low rise were still ridiculous for me. So I recommend mid-rise or a high rise. Someone who has a long torso, you might opt for the high rise. Someone who has itty bitty legs, even if they have a regular size torso, still might want to go with the high rise because it lengthens their legs. Okay, so play around a little bit. Make a non-judgment but accurate view of your body in those pants. Are they flattering on you? Do do they look good? Because if you wear it right, it will look beautiful. I do want to talk about picking the right shoe. So the type of shoe you wear with your wide leg pants can change how the whole pants look. Flat shoes might make the pants appear too long, especially if you're shorter. So where do the pants fit you when you are flat footed? Do you need to add a little heel? So heels and platforms usually work really well with a wide leg pant as they will add some height and prevent the pants from dragging on the ground. I like to wear a heel too, just because 
the way that I stand is different when I'm wearing even a little bit of a heel versus a flat foot. So I tend to, even though I'm 5'9", still wear at least a little bit of a heel. When you are choosing the right wide leg pants, you want to make sure that you're picking one that fits you well. I remember during the skinny jean craze, I had a pair of wide leg pants that I kept that I love to have in my closet. And I pulled them out every once in a while, even though nobody else was wearing wide leg pants. You know, I'm okay with following trends. I do want to avoid looking like I'm out of style and not aware of what the trends are, but wide leg pants had been out for so long when I started wearing my wide leg pants again, that I felt a little bit more like the fashionista side versus the opposite of that. So I didn't have a problem with it. The life cycle of clothing is about seven years. Jeans tend to go a little bit longer than that. And some trends are even shorter. Some of them, it's just for a season. But the skinny jeans have have been in the spotlight for a minute and they've been out for a little while too, guys. So if you have skinny jeans, you might want to wait a little bit longer still. Pull them out and wear them if you love them. But I don't want you wearing them because you're thinking that you're too scared to try the wide leg, that they are not flattering on you. They absolutely can be. So though I'm not against you pulling out your favorite pair of jeans and wearing them on special occasions, like I did with my wide leg jeans, remember back how much you love them and how flattering they were. They are equally, if not more, flattering on you now today. Think about getting a higher rise. So when you bend over, we don't have those problems in the 2023, 2024, like we did in the 2000s, early 2000s. So remember, you should always be comfortable. I, that is my number one concern, that you're comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. Bring all your questions to my live videos in November on Instagram and let's answer all your style questions this November. Let's polish up your style, elevate your look so that you can stand out in your industry and step forward with your best looks this season so that you can feel your best. All right. Until next week, think like a style icon. Bye-bye. <music>